Welcome back. Just after hitting the second anniversary of Russia invading Ukraine, the federal government is urging Congress to pass a foreign aid bill to send aid to Ukraine. But some lawmakers in the House are holding their ground on not sending any aid until the president does something about the southern border. Washington correspondent Basil John reports. Basil, good morning. president will meet with the leaders of both the House and the Senate on Tuesday to get the national security bill passed. On ABC's This Week, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan called on House Speaker Mike Johnson to bring a vote to the House floor for Ukraine. Speaker Johnson, if he put this bill on the floor, um, would produce a strong bipartisan majority vote in favor of the aid to Ukraine. Sullivan assures that Ukraine is willing to continue the fight against Russia. It just needs the money. This is about a shortage of bullets. And if we can fill that shortage of bullets, Ukraine will stand up brave and courageous uh, and take the fight to the Russians. The Republican-led House is under pressure as the Senate passed a $95 billion national security bill that would help Ukraine. But on NBC's Meet the Press, Florida Republican Congressman Byron Donalds said the border is his top priority. Anything I vote for has to secure our border, and the president should agree to that. That's, simple, that's common sense for a nation like America. Despite the pushback, Pennsylvania Republican Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick told CBS's Face the Nation that he is working on a skinnier border in Ukraine bill and will force it to the floor. They have weeks and not months to, to get reinforcements on the front lines. Now, lawmakers will return to Capitol Hill later today as the clock is ticking. Reporting live in Washington, I'm Basil John. Thank you, Basil.